for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video tip is going to be on using the flattening surface option to flatten complex surfaces, such as the fabric pieces found in this automobile seat. First off, in order to flatten surfaces, you'll need 2015 or later. Next, in order to go in and flatten the surfaces, we'll go in and click the surface flatten button. Click the surface that you want to flatten. I need to zoom in on the vertice that you want to use to flatten it by, but you'll need to select that as well. And then the surface will automatically flatten. Now, some of the options in here have to do with determining whether there's going to be an edge or not that does not change its shape or length when flattened. So, in most fabric type applications, you're going to want to go ahead and leave that blank and flatten the surface. So once the surface is flattened in here, it'll actually add itself to the surfaces folder as a separate surface feature. So if you want to go ahead and, and make a drawing out of this or use the curvature from a DXF file, you can always right click and insert that into a new part. Now what I've done is I've actually flattened the surface using the two different ways where I'm going to flatten the surface where I do not use a flattened surface control. And then I've also gone in there and picked the bottom edge for selecting for flattening this and keeping its shape and length consistent in here. In doing so, I've saved out each part as a model, just like I showed you here, insert into new part, and I did thicken it in order to make it into a solid. So I actually have the part right here to do a little comparison with, with our comparison tool. So you can see the difference between using one with no control in the control option for the surface and using one with control. Just by going in to the tools compare geometry command, I can go in and open up and compare the one with no control to the one with control and look at the geometry and run a comparison. And here, this is our comparison model. So it's best for me to just bring this up and start showing the material that got added and the material got, that got removed. You can look at just by going in and seeing those options. So here's the re material that got added and the material that got removed by virtue of this the stretch. So you can see the difference between one model and the other with the comparison from what it's doing with the stretch. If you want to change some of the stretch accuracy, which is really controlled with a handle that's under the flatten surface command. So first I need to get out of the compare command, then I can go back in and use the edit feature. So this accuracy control really does control the stretch. And the curve control controls whether or not to change the shape or length when flattened. So that's the new flatten command in SOLIDWORKS 2015. I hope you guys can make some good use of that. Thanks very much for watching another quick tip video.